guys so it's saturday morning and i'm sitting in the parking lot of the grocery store jamming out to michael jackson i wanted to jump on here and really quickly tell you guys about my organic market run that i just did i honestly went in to look for blueberries because they had a really really good deal on blueberries last week and of course that deal is over it was 99 cents for a, um, a thing of blueberries and so I should have like bought 10 of them because um, Avery has been devouring them and they're really good for snacking um, but I wanted to find a really really good natural skincare solution I've really been loving my Burt's Bees rose toner and I've been doing a lot of research on rose and rose hip oil and it's really good for balancing your skin and really nourishing your skin and I really just needed that right now because with like the weather change and like we go from drastic cold to sometimes warm my skin's been like out of whack and off balance so I really wanted to get something to just kind of balance out my skin and then I can figure out you know what I'm doing from that point but I really just need to get it back into like its harmonious state that it once was in I swear I had the best skin when I was pregnant so um I wish I could just have that skin again I wish my body could just think it's like pregnant so I could have like amazing skin because my skin I mean it didn't even break out I could not even wash my face while pregnant and I just it was amazing um but not gonna do that right now um but I wanted to show you guys really quickly I had so I don't know this company um what is this okay so at Sprouts I got this um, face care kit it's rose balancing face care kit and this is by Evan Healy even Healy I don't know how to pronounce that if I'm butchering it sorry um, but I got this because it has up to 14 days of treatment for all skin types and it says especially oily and dry combination skin which is what the state my skin is in right now it's kind of that like oily dry so I wanted to give this a try. Um, it was only $24 for, you know, just a little trial size. And, you know, you kind of want to get like a trial size when you're just trying to figure out, you know, what you want to get. Um, because I haven't really done like a ton of research on this particular company. I tried to while I was in the store and just standing there for, you know, 30 minutes is not really conducive to my to my time schedule so I'm gonna give this a try it comes with a cleanser a hydrosol which is like a toner a serum and the moisturizer and a clay mask and I actually did try the toner I sprayed it onto my skin and it felt really really good and then I tried the rosehip um, oil serum and oh my gosh it is on my hand let me just show you guys my hand really quickly just so you can see um, car today <laughs> But um, as you can see, I've put a little bit of the rose hip oil serum right there on my hand. And then, you know, as opposed to over here, like, well, I feel like it's kind of gone everywhere on my hand, but it seems like it's super nourishing as opposed to this hand, which is kind of dry looking and, you know, it's not as nourished looking as this one and that's just with the serum and just with like one tiny oh, yeah i wanted to give that a try but i also got a power crunch bar because i'm starving i went to the starbucks drive through and i really wasn't feeling like getting like an entire breakfast sandwich so i just grabbed a um, power crunch bar the peanut butter cream and vanilla are my favorites um and i grabbed some pink lady apples because they had a really good deal on those um but i really came in here for the purpose of skincare so we're gonna give this a try and hopefully um it's gonna it's gonna work out really well. I have a feeling it's going to though. Rose rose hip rose is very very good for your for your skin. And this is just all natural ingredients. I know you guys probably cannot just read all this right now, but um, we'll get deeper into this when I get home. And I'm gonna wash my face later, and I will probably try it with you guys and um, just show you everything. So um, don't worry, I will just kind of unbox everything. Everything is wrapped up right now, so um, you really can't, you know, I, I opened the box a little bit just to see, you know, what everything looked like. Um, and it says, our hydrosol and serum are certified organic by Oregon Health. I have no idea what that means. Um, so I'm gonna maybe go home and do some more research. Okay, so this is the rose treatment protocol and just kind of going over 
how to use everything and what it's for. Um, I'm gonna look at this more closely when I get home, but I just really wanted to, I was really excited to just sit in the car and just pull out of the box and just kind of um, look at everything. So this is, this is what this looks like. Um, so I'm really excited to use this. I just really wanna quickly show you guys that I decorated a little bit the front of the house for um, Valentine's Day. I have begun decorating our house for every holiday now that the kids are older just you know so they can have <laughs> they can have some fun with it and um, just really enjoy the holidays um, normally I wouldn't decorate at all like when I was single I would never have done this and these are little heart um, like a little heart garland so it's held up outside I got that from Big Lots I think I think I got all of that stuff from Big Lots and then the hearts that we made um, it was just a little crafting project I came up with that the kids and Will and I sat down and did last Saturday and then we decorated the door. I got those from, did I also get those from Big Lots? Yeah. So the house has been decorated for um, a couple weeks now and we have a few things on the inside that are just Valentine's Day conducive but it's just a little um, simple decor just to nod to a little love day. Okay. So let's go into Paisley's room. I just got back home and things are a little different in here. Yes, because Paisley's getting a new bed today. She was supposed to have it delivered yesterday. Something happened. They couldn't really get on the premises. I don't even know. But um, Ashley Furniture is sending new drivers today at like three o'clock. So she will have this beautiful full size princess very regal bed right there this afternoon so she is moving out of the toddler bed um and it's funny because we had clearly taken down her um crib that converted to a toddler bed yesterday morning and of course we got the news that it wouldn't be delivered until today and so i just had to bring back the mattress and put it on the floor and she kind of looked at me like what are you doing <laughs> Like, when I went to put her to bed last night, she's like, where is my bed? Why am I on the floor with a mattress? But, um, whatever, it worked. It's a mattress. She has sheets. She has her blankets, her pillows. She was comfy. She slept the whole night. Um, so it worked out. But I wanted to show you guys something. My latest obsession, um, my latest obsession. I just got this handbag, this Vera Bradley handbag I saw online. It, like, called my name. It was just... It was gorgeous. When I saw it, I just gasped. I just thought it was so cute. I like Vera Bradley for like everyday totes and that was just so pretty. I bought that for $17. It's still new. Oh God, this thing, it's like on voice activation. I'm gonna have to turn that off um, because it'll come on anytime I talk. Um, it's Paisley's sound machine. But anyway, so yeah, this purse was $17 and of course the retail is 68 oh my god <laughs> world um retailed for 68 now this is a style or like a pattern that's not current um i don't really keep up with vera bradley like on all the patterns but i do love vera bradley i love it for travel for um for every day but yeah i have been obsessing over the website mercari the last week. I literally joined Mercari. I don't know if it's Mercari or Mercari. I joined their site on Monday and then I ordered this Monday like a couple hours later and then I got it by Friday. So the seller was super duper fast and amazing when shipping this to me. So like she was just well, Let's amazing. just sit on the floor and have a chat since we're already in here. But Mercari, I think that's how you pronounce it, Mercari.com. It's kind of like a modern day eBay where you can like buy and sell things that you don't use, don't need, don't want anymore. So actually I should probably go sell a lot of stuff because there's a lot of handbags and clothing items that I don't wear. So like <laughs> any of your favorite designers, um, like anything you could think of, even strollers they have at Mercari.com. So I've already made like a long list of likes, but this was my very first purchase. I bought it because I thought, well, I thought it was cute. And then I was like, maybe I'll gift it to my friend. But then I tried it on my shoulder and I was like, this is mine. I'm taking this. So this is going to be like my everyday like purse because 
let's just be real, like my Michael Kors limited edition um, leopard print, like today going to Sprouts Organic Market and then going to TJ Maxx, which I did right after, it was a little hard carrying my coffee and having that on like the, the crook of my elbow. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and so I feel like this is just a better like everyday just everyday tote and this is good like I like Vera Bradley because these are great when you go on vacation and you really don't want to take your like super expensive handbags because you don't want to get them messed up or you know you're just a little too afraid to take them I think this is like a perfect perfect option so yeah this is my very first purchase from mercari.com and I'm absolutely hooked um, actually I bought a Kate Spade diaper bag and I'm waiting for the seller to ship that I bought that on Thursday night at like 11 30 p.m. like this website's addictive because I was laying in bed till like midnight last night just scrolling through seeing what I could buy it's so addicting but it's really awesome because you can buy your favorite designers for a fraction of the price even though it's used and you can find things in all all types of um, condition like like brand new like new good fair condition and poor condition if you want to fix it up yourself so um, just waiting on the news for my Kate Spade diaper bag hopefully she ships that today because she has until like 3 30 tomorrow otherwise Mercari will cancel the sale and but I really really like that pattern it's like the classic spade stevie stucco diaper bag which is like the classic spade pattern so it's kind of like a vintage like you know kate spade pattern and i'm hoping to get that because they don't make that anymore so that was my favorite find for the week but let's check out what i got at tj maxx this morning i got this outfit for avery she actually has this in nine months it was like one of my favorites it was so cute on her and it was such a good price. It was only $9.99. I bought it in 18 months. So this will be perfect for the spring and early summer. And then I just thought this was super cute as well. Um, this is a Jessica Simpson little romper. I, I was gonna get like a little Carter chambray romper that kind of like was this material. But honestly, when kids are at that age where they're moving, when kids are at the age where they're just moving around and very mobile, it's really important to have something that they can be super comfortable in that moves easily with them, that um, they can just really kind of move about and that doesn't restrict their movement. Um, so this is just really comfy. This is actually perfect for sleep, for play, for travel. Um, and so at 18 months, I'm sure she'll be like toddling <laughs> and running everywhere. But it was just so cute and so soft and so comfortable. And I just, I absolutely loved it. It was just adorable. I couldn't pass it up. Of course, I have all of Paisley's outfits that Avery's going to wear, her 18-month stuff. I'm going to bring out um, here shortly and put away some 12-month things. But, you know, I just still wanted to buy a couple outfits that were specifically for Avery. Okay, and then I got myself a couple of tops that I saw on clearance. Because with all the weight that I've lost, I really don't have... I don't have a whole lot. Um, this I thought was really cute. Just like simple, simple tops. Um, just for every day. I really like gray. <laughs> Solid colors. Because those you can just pair with, you know, you can pair those with scarves, whatever accessories. So this is like a longer sleeve. Sorry guys. Paisley's, I don't know what's gotten in her this morning. She's, I don't even know. She's on a whole other level right now. Maybe she's excited for her bed to come in. Um, yeah, I really like those. They're going to be really comfy because I really don't have a lot of like everyday, just, just everyday, you know, basic tops. This one is really cute. I think I might go to this like wine and wine event tonight with um, my friend. So if I do, I think this would be perfect to wear. It's kind of that like slouchy. Not really short sleeve, kind of like close sleeve, but slouchy, comfy. And I'm gonna wear my new Michael Kors bag that I showed you guys in, I think, my last video. So if I go out tonight, I'm gonna wear this with just some jeans and some booties, and then I'll wear that Michael Kors top. And then the last top I got was just a simple, um, just a really simple shirt I can just kind of wear with jeans or I can wear with leggings just one of those every day it was only four bucks so I was like why not 
Um, I wish I had a mannequin to put these on so I could show you guys, but maybe when I put it on, um, I'll remember, you know, each shirt that I wear because I'm sure I'll wear these all within the next few days. Um, so I will definitely um, make sure I capture that and show you guys what I'm wearing and um, then you can see. But yeah, these were the fabulous finds for the week. I'm super excited. And honestly, you see how this Vera Bradley goes with all of these shirts, all of them, every last one of them. Like my Michael Kors would probably go because it's more solid. These are more solid, but I feel like this would transition um, with really anything I'm wearing um, because my leopard print, like sometimes I just don't wanna wear a leopard print every day. And um, yeah, this bag has a little bit more give too than that Michael Kors. It's like, I'm terrified sometimes of taking that Michael Kors out. I'm gonna insert a couple clips. I got a couple pictures that I sent my friend of me wearing the bag because I was trying to decipher if I wanted to keep it or gift it to my friend because I did honestly buy it for myself. Um, so maybe I'll look for something else for her for when I go visit her, but oh God, I'm, I'm in love with this. I am already addicted to Mercari. I'm gonna jump on the site <laughs> when Pisa goes down for a nap. So I can see what else we have today and I'm gonna check on the status of that Kate Spade bag. Um, but there's another Vera Bradley diaper bag that is on sale at Mercari for like 20 bucks. So I'm like itching to get it because I have like a $5 off coupon for my second purchase just waiting for me that's gonna expire in nine days. Um, so yeah, it's a convertible Vera Bradley backpack, convertible diaper bag so it converts to like diaper bag or backpack or messenger or tote style diaper bag. So it's really versatile. So yay. By the way, guys, I wanted to say I have a feeling I'm really going to like this, um, this natural skincare, this rose. It smells amazing it smells like so natural just like this beautiful soft natural rose scent like based on scent I already like it very much um but we have to put it to the test I can't just base skincare off of the way it smells but just saying it smells really good so it doesn't have a bad smell because I've experienced with like some natural products it might smell like plant you know what I mean just like a basic not really smelling good plant. I don't know, but this smells amazing. So I really like it. I love that she loves her books, but not just any books, but that's her little Bible she's been carrying around. She got this for her baptism from uh, my parents from her for her baptism when she was six weeks old. She loves it. So she takes this. I found this in her bed with her the other night. She's like gets out of bed and grabs her Bible and takes it to bed with her. And then we read this every single night and even before she goes down for naps, God loves mommy and me. She loves this book. It's just the sweetest. So this is a very proud mommy moment that I'm doing something right because she loves her Bible and her book titled God Loves Mommy and Me. She did not want to leave it in her room. I told her to leave it in her room because those are the books that stay in her room. But she insisted on <laughs> bringing them downstairs. Where are you going? Come on. Let's go downstairs. I have to. Mommy. Put all my transfer all my stuff from my Michael Kors purse to my Vera Bradley purse. I'm so excited. I wish I would have done that last night because this would have been perfect for this morning. Ugh, so perfect. Especially going to like weigh in too. Oh man. That's okay. We're gonna wear this every day. Come on, let's go. Alright, we're gonna begin transferring things over. Yeah, this bag is, you know, sometimes stiff and really hard to get in and out of, especially when I'm carrying it on my arm. And very rarely do I carry it by this strap. Um, but it's a limited edition. I do use it. It's not like I, it just sits side by purse. It's just to sit on my shelf. I just, some people love shoes. I love handbags. <laughs> so Paisley and I decided to come out because, well, A, Paisley is home every single day because she has ABA therapy and they come and do therapy in home every morning, Monday through Friday from nine to noon. So 
and then she needs to nap. So Paisley literally is just in the house every day, all day. So I know, yeah, I, I could see when I got home this morning that she was kind of stir crazy, wanted just to get out and it's cold outside. So I'm like, all right, well, we can't really play outside today. So um, since her bed is coming, um, later this afternoon, I figure it would be a perfect opportunity for her and I just to get out and just have our alone time, one-on-one -on -one time with her. And I know she loves that. So I decided we're going to go to the mall, one of her favorite places, because she loves going to the mall play area and jumping around and having a good time. Um, but also, I figured I might get her a few um, outfits because she's growing and she needs some new outfits. But we're going for the main purpose to look for a bedding set for her. So I'm going to look at Belk and Maybe. Macy's um, first because I know they have like really beautiful nice um, sets so I want to find her like a really really nice one not like a you know kitty toddler character one I want like you know floral just eyelet just really beautiful um, so we're gonna do that and we're gonna have some lunch together and just have a, a mommy daughter day holy moly look at the size of this thing this is a large I mean this is like an extra large that's crazy but I do love some Dunkin Donuts coffee so I'm glad that they do give you a lot more for your money so thank you you gonna get out of your seat can you help oh sorry I didn't realize that one was still hooked otherwise you would have been fine okay so we're gonna leave the backpack in here, the diaper bag, because we don't need a whole diaper bag. No, no, we're gonna get out. Can you step down? Okay, ready? Remember how we squat down? Yay, there we go. Hold my hand. Nope, this way. We have our Kiko lightweight umbrella stroller. This single stroller, which she, of course she likes because she knows she's by herself. Can you climb in? Oops. <laughs> And look, we still have a double stroller in the back. So everybody's happy. And I don't have to take a diaper bag. I have the Vera Bradley purse. So I just grabbed a pack of wipes and a diaper. And I've got her blanket and snack because, I mean, I need less. The older they are, the less you really need. So I'm able to get away with just having a purse today. Oh my gosh, look, they have little baby crown and ivy. How cute. You guys know I love crown and ivy. Oh my goodness. I have a feeling we're gonna be here for a while. <laughs> it's so weird pushing a single stroller. Like, it's just weird having one child with me and not both of them. I'm just used to the width of a double stroller, so I feel a little off, <laughs> off balance even, pushing a single stroller. Look at those, those are cute. That one's really cute, Paze. All right, we're in Belk right now looking at some bedding sets. I'm finding some really cute stuff for little girls. Um, so I want something very just simple, clean lines, beautiful, that can just kind of carry her through. Um, you know, that doesn't really look like too toddler, if you know what I mean. Something like this. This is very pretty. What do you think of this, Pace? Isn't this nice? She's so bored. It's good stuff. That's like New York pizza paste. It's the best. Yummy. Paisley and I came to the PX on post for lunch. Subway sub. I got um, turkey breast. And Paisley got. Sub. Look at this beautiful bed. Paisley's big girl bed just came in. They just delivered it and set it up. They literally were here for like maybe all of 15 minutes. Look at how pretty this is. So we've ordered a nice little canopy to replace that one just because that one's more for like over a crib. So it doesn't really go with this bed. So we're gonna take that one down. And we have a nice little curtain canopy with like a flower crown that should be arriving tomorrow. Oh my God, this bed was even better in person than I expected. I, I didn't even see this in the store. I didn't even go in the store. I just saw it online at Ashley Furniture and picked it out and I had Will go in the store because I didn't think you could order you couldn't order it online you had to go in the store so Will went into the store and bought it and this is gorgeous Paisley was already in here laying down so she loves it and this is like a nice leather upholstery look at these little rhinestones little 
Oh my gosh, this is so cute. It's fit for a princess. We love it. So we need to, we still need to go get some bedding. So we're gonna go, um, go back out this evening and look for some bedding. But oh my gosh, this is perfect. I'm debating if I wanna put any of Avery's pictures on this wall because now this is kind of turned into Paisley's room only. But I do wanna have some pictures. But since we're moving, I feel like at this point, no point. I don't know, maybe. But oh, if we were staying, I'd probably line the um, ceiling with some of those hanging lights or something to make it just really sensory friendly in here. But this is so pretty. Wow, Paze, what do you think? Comfy cozy. <laughs> it's gonna be even better once you get some bedding on their pays. She's really loving it. The weather is horrible. So yeah, it's raining out. We are um, on our way to church, but since we left the house early, we aim to go to the 11 o'clock service, but that's not happening. It's 11.56. I swear, like every Sunday, it's always something, trying to get out of the house, trying to get the kids together, you know, bath time. So rather than rushing, like mad dashing like a crazy person, I was like, let's just get ready and let's leave the house early because we had errands to run. Um, we are taking back Paisley's, um, bedding set. We did end up going to Bed Bath & Beyond and we got a Sophia the First bedding set and it said twin and full but honestly it like it barely fits a twin so like none of, none of it was fitting so we had to like throw some random sheets on her bed and a blanket and um, we got our pillows and everything um, but we just had to throw random bedding so it's not even like cute. So um, we left the house early to run those errands before we go to church today because it's raining and we really don't want to take them out in the rain. I mean, we have a DVD player in the car. Avery's napping. Paisley's happily watching Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood. So um, we'll just ran into Ross um, to return a Valentine's tablecloth that I got that was too small. I did not read the back of it. I just read that it was not round, but I did not re read that it was a rectangular instead of the oblong or rectangular length. So he's exchanging the tablecloth that I have and um, then we're gonna run over to Bed Bath & Beyond and we're gonna get a completely different bedding set. We're just gonna get like a normal, very chic, beautiful um, floral and white bedding set that I saw that I really liked. Um, it was really pretty. Um, the reason we didn't get that was because Will thought it was, I don't know, he's like, she's a little girl, it's not a guest room. I guess he was feeling like it was just too nice and not like, girly and kid enough for Paisley so I mean I agree to the character and well the character didn't work out so that's what we're doing on a Sunday morning um and then I actually <laughs> I've been on Mercari because Will's driving he's inside right now Mercari.com because I told you guys I'm obsessed by the way the seller did message me back she's um, she said she was so sorry for the delay. Um, she'd just seen the message. She's new to Mercari, so she wasn't sure how it worked, but she checked her email and she saw that I had purchased the Kate Spade diaper bag. So she shipped it yesterday. I'm so excited. It's on the way. So I will not have to carry two bags anymore. I can have like my purse and my diaper bag all in one because I mean, it's beautiful. It's working out. I love this tote, but I also have to carry the diaper bag too um, but like when we go into church the diaper bag will stay in the car because they don't really need it they can't take food or drink into um, their class anyway and the babies in the nursery they will change their diaper um, some of the toddlers are potty trained so I guess unless they're like clearly soiled or soaking wet uh, they really won't you know change their diaper but you know they will so they don't really need a they don't really need a diaper bag in church, but I have it in the car, so we're running errands. So that way they have, you know, bottles, snacks, whatever we need while we're out. Um, so after church, we're going to run over to the grocery store and get some stuff to make Super Bowl 
dinner because we have friends coming over and we're getting together and just making a bunch of good food. Thanks. Um, so yeah, because it's raining, you guys, that's what I was saying about Mercari.com. That sparked my search for rain boots because I have a pair of rain boots. They're, I don't know, they're not very comfortable. They're like a, I don't even know what they are, no name brand. Um, and it's, you know, I don't care that they're no name brand, but they're just not comfortable. And I mean, they're cute little ankle boots, but they're definitely not gonna last. So I wanted to get like a nice pair so they can last. I've been searching um, Mercari.com and I found like tons of Hunter rain boots and Ugg rain boots. Um, but honestly, the price that they're selling them for, I could just go buy a new pair from the store at Belk. Um, which honestly, Belk is having a sale right now on ring gear. So I think I may do that this week because every time I think about it, I put it off and put it off until it's like pouring rain like today and I don't even have a raincoat or rain boots. And Paisley doesn't have a raincoat or rain boots. Avery is the only one with a raincoat, but no rain boots. So that's gonna be my task for this week is some rain gear. I feel like I've worn this shirt in a few vlogs before. So <laughs> if you have seen this shirt several times, I apologize. It is my absolute favorite flannel plaid shirt. I got this from Sears after Christmas. They were having an amazing sale and I grabbed a couple of them actually. So it's, it's a favorite shirt. So maybe I should just go get a ton more in just different colors because I, that's like, my uniform I feel like it's just very me I'm very simple with my um, with my clothes with my style like I'm I love purses purses are my thing I'm not really a fashionista I like simple shirts and a pair of jeans just give me jeans or leggings and like these flannel shirts and like basic shirts and um, a few different um, infinity scarves and I'm good to go so um, but I think I may go back to Sears and get some more of these because I feel like I've worn this one all week long and I really haven't but I've probably been in a couple times but I do laundry often so um, that's probably why I feel like that but yeah if you guys seen have seen me in this several times don't worry I have a couple of them they're clean the rain has subsided well it's completely stopped now that we're done with our errands but it wasn't too bad it's just probably the worst day ever to have to go get groceries go to the store with children because oh gosh we were, we were um, at one point well I was soaked but Will got soaked it's 3 30 we're heading home to start well Will's gonna be making our Super Bowl food Hey guys, sorry I left you hanging yesterday. It was just a hectic day. Um, we were just doing you know, the family stuff and um, we got a little busy so I got a little preoccupied but um, I'm just enjoying a nice quiet afternoon. The kids are both down for a nap. Avery's on her second nap, hallelujah, because she's just been so busy and I mean, she is running me around. Um, I'm just having some yummy kale for lunch. Believe it or not, I really do like kale. Like um, cooked kale and I put some vinegar in it. It tastes so good to me. Um, and it was funny when I was pregnant with Avery, I craved kale. Like, I mean, I would crave waffles, Belgian waffles, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and kale. And no, I'm not pregnant. Um, but I'm just having some kale for lunch and my water and I'm going to have some tea. I just brewed, um, well, boiled some water and I'm gonna have some chai tea. And I was able to take a midday shower. I mean, I showered last night, but I decided I was gonna take advantage of the kids napping and I got up and I worked out and then I decided I was gonna take a nice long hot shower and wash my hair and deep condition my hair and shave and like it was a 30 minute shower and it felt so amazing because normally I just rush my showers. Um, even when Will, Will is here, even at night or in the morning because I feel like I could always be doing something else while they're sleeping or I'm gonna miss out on something. So it was so nice and I used the um, the Rosehip 
um, skincare. I know I promised you guys I was gonna um, do it with you, show you, sorry, maybe the nighttime routine we could do together, but it was really, it's really different from what I'm used to um, as far as my skincare, how I've always done my skincare. I don't know, I feel like my skin is more mature now, and this is exactly what it's for, mature skin that's you know, oily or dry or combination. So um, I think I'm really gonna enjoy it. I really, really like it. It feels amazing. Um, honestly, since I've been using these natural products, like my um, Everyone Natural Body Wash Soap, it's been it's lasted much longer than like a bar of Dove would ever last in my house. So um, that's a plus. But other than that, my skin is just feels so much you know smoother and just I feel so much better honestly. So um, I'm probably gonna go all natural with my skincare from now on. I don't think I'll ever go back to um, regular soap. Um, they have plenty of trial sizes and uh, travel size at Sprouts Market, and I'm sure I can find it like any natural market. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be spoiled now because I'm going to make sure when I travel I have it with me because I will not be able to use um, regular stuff. Anymore. All right, guys. Well, it is way later, and I am trying to get dinner situated, and um, Paisley's up from her nap. And Avery is, I'm about to get Avery up, but um, we started potty training today. We've incorporated that into Paisley's program with ABA. So um, today's day one, it's just very slow. He's starting off going to the bathroom like every 15 minutes. And so um, I'm gonna have Will stop at the store on his way home from work and buy some pull-ups because we just didn't get those. She's doing great sitting on like the regular toilet potty um, she has her step stool so um, she has a comfortable place to set her feet and she she can sit up there she does really well but um, we just need to have pull-ups because taking the diaper on and like taking the diaper off and putting it back on is just it's so much of a hassle um, because it just doesn't you know pull up or down so pull-ups are definitely gonna be easier but anyway um, sorry this vlog was so long I didn't even realize how long this was and um, we're just gonna end this here because well the weekend is over <laughs> we've just had a really busy weekend between like the Super Bowl Paisley's bed yeah it's been a super long um weekend but we hope you guys enjoyed this please give it a thumbs up if you did don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and um we're definitely gonna just cover some more things in the next in some future vlogs so oh by the way this is one of the shirts that i got from tj maxx this weekend so um it's super comfy it's just like a little um i call them i don't know i call these like is it raglan 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 shirts it's just like you know those baseball type um, shirts, but it's super comfy. I really love it. Okay, guys. Well, I've talked your ear off long enough. I will see you in the next video.